This array of antennas, situated in the Cascade Mountains of Northern California, is not tracing the interstellar gas of our galaxy. It's not imaging objects like pulsars, quasars, or the neighborhoods of black holes. It's searching for evidence of intelligent extraterrestrials, aliens. This endeavor is known as SETI, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. It is a daring experiment that could forever alter humanity's view of itself. An experiment to use modern technology to find other galactic inhabitants was first attempted by a soft-spoken astronomer named Frank Drake. Born in Chicago at the start of the Great Depression, Drake was interested in chemistry and electronics. He enrolled at Cornell University and was part of a Navy officer training program. After graduating, Drake was put in charge of electronics aboard a Navy cruiser, the USS Albany. In 1955, he entered Harvard as a radio astronomy grad student. After receiving his degree, the young Frank Drake joined the newly minted National Radio Astronomy Observatory in the soft hills of West Virginia. The observatory had just purchased an off-the-shelf radio antenna sporting an 85-foot dish, and Drake, the new guy in town, was encouraged to think of experiments befitting this instrument. What followed was a two-month observing program he christened Project Ozma after the fictional Princess Oz in Frank Baum's book. In an experiment that discomfited some astronomers, Drake used the antenna to look for radio signals coming from the directions of two nearby stars, places that could conceivably house planets with intelligent beings. He wasn't studying natural processes, but looking for emissions launched into space by an extraterrestrial society. He didn't find any alien signals, but Project Ozma had generated a tidal wave of interest. A year later, Drake was encouraged by the National Academy of Sciences to convene a small meeting of a dozen scientists to weigh the odds that we could find aliens by eavesdropping on radio transmissions. The meeting was held in the fall of 1961 at the observatory where Drake had done Project Ozma. As agenda for the meeting, he wrote a simple equation on a blackboard that would estimate the number of on-the-air societies that exist in our galaxy. This agenda, now known as the Drake Equation, has been called the second most famous equation in science. Thus began the modern era of SETI. Drake had planted a seed that has sprouted into several signal searches in progress today. These efforts are constrained not by a lack of technical expertise or astronomical knowledge, but by a shortage of funding. SETI is run on monies donated by a handful of interested individuals. We will need to search through literally at least millions of stars to give us a good chance of finding a signal from another civilization. SETI experiments have not yet found proof of extraterrestrials, but a small number of scientists are continuing the search with new observation programs and the development of new receiving equipment. By 2035, these experiments will have reconnoitered about one million planetary systems, an impressive sample. So it's conceivable that Drake's audacious experiment will soon pay off that we will learn that humans are not the only intelligent species in the cosmos, that we share the universe with others.